but it's not teeth he needs to unlock the termite's secret. If you look at its front feet, you can see it's got these two huge claws on each one of them, and they can break into just about any substrate. It also uses them for defence. It's said that if it's attacked by a larger predator, it will stand back on its tail and lash out with those claws. He uses his tongue, which is over 50 centimetres long, flicking it in and out at around 150 times a minute. Giant anteaters eat 35,000 termites a day. Nevertheless, you could be forgiven for thinking that no matter how many they hoover up or how quickly, they could never sustain an animal this size. But they do. By weight, termites are the most protein-rich food that you can find. There's more protein in these little insects than there is in beans, nuts, cheese, chicken, even roast beef. And what's interesting is that termites occur in ecosystems all over the world. And wherever they do, there are creatures like this that have evolved to feed exclusively on termites. The reason termites are so rich in protein is all down to some very intimate relationships. The first is with a fungus. Deep within the mound, the fungus breaks down dead grass so the termites can digest it. Not much else could eke a living out of this stuff. The second is more remarkable still. You see termites can obtain nitrogen directly from the air. And they achieve this through another symbiotic relationship, an even more intimate one. Because living inside their digestive systems are amazing nitrogen-trapping bacteria. And it's this that gives termites their special powers. So using the nitrogen they get from that bacteria, the nutrients they get from the fungus, they're able to turn this dead, woody material into a productive food source. This stuff, which is so low in nitrogen, so low in protein, they can turn into edible protein, and that's how they can form these vast colonies. <laughs> 